This is the duck there bringing you a new game, Slipways. I found this game randomly on YouTube, and after watching two minutes, I knew this was an instant classic and easily game of the year 2021. This is a empire building space game that has the very best elements of the 4X games, except for the exterminate part. It has the first three parts, the explore, the expand and the exploit and your goal is to build up a space empire and you can do this uh, in 60 minutes or maybe uh, one or two hours that's the average length of the game there's none of that tedious mid and end game where you just like you've already won you know you've already won and it's just like a hundred more turns to play it out because once you get to that stage in the game it's over and it's time for a new run it is just is just perfection when it comes to, like it scratches all my uh exactly what i love about the uh, civilization or the solaris type games without any of the tedium and i could see myself playing this for hundreds of hours so go out right now and just give the developers money to play this game because it is incredible. I don't know why this is only like $17 or $16 or whatever. This is easily like $100. I would easily pay $100 uh, to play this. So without further ado, let us get into it. I pl I'm certainly not an expert in this uh, Unlike Battle Brothers. Uh, I don't know um, more than just the basics of this game. So I'm just going to do a standard run here. And there's uh, quite a few difficulties. In my experience, challenging is sort of like the normal difficulty if you have any sort of experience or strategy games. Yeah, so if you're familiar with strategy games, you'll do fine on challenging. Tough is tough. You have to actually have a good understanding of the game mechanics to uh, make progress on that difficulty. And I've been playing around with uh, tough but for this initial video, I don't want to just like lose in the first 10 uh, minutes. So I'm going to do challenging uh, and you can like click around the map to pick some sector. Um, you know, this sector seems fine to me. Uh, it's all just randomized. This is the seed if you want to play along. And quirks are like um, modifiers to the sector. I'm not going to bother with that for this particular campaign. Um, you know what? Let's click on the random one more time. And then uh, on this screen, this is like sort of your uh, empire selection screen. Except the way it works is there are three, uh, there are five races, and you can pick three out of the five and get two perks. I'll probably go into that in a subsequent video. For this, I just want to get started as fast as possible. Let's just do random races and perks. And uh, we should still um, take a look at the races and perks a little bit, even before diving into the game. Um, these technologies, these are what you can research, as you can see. Uh, unlike, they're not super expansive tech trees, but uh, these are randomized to a certain extent every run. Uh, I'm not going to get into the text right now because those don't come into play until a little bit more into the game. Uh, it's, in my opinion, more important to take a look at the perks. So, ooh, this is going to be a little tough, even on challenging difficulty, because the perks here are don't give an immediate impact. Um, so, I will explain this a little bit more once we get started with the game uh, but they're not going to have any sort of immediate impact for us so let's just start and welcome this is the initial interface uh, and you see all these uh, signals um, and this is the exploration part of the game you can find out what these um, planets are or these signals are uh, a lot of them are going to be planets, but you can find other stuff. Furthermore, this game has an excellent tutorial. Um, where is that tutorial settings? That's not right. Uh, maybe you can only see it from the main menu? No, uh, never mind. Uh, it's this little help uh, question mark icon. 
And this is all I did. I just went through the screens, and that's all I needed to do to learn to play. Probably took me like 10 minutes to go through each of these. Really nice little short video tutorials explaining concepts. This one explains like how do you explore, for instance. And then the planets and uh, the name of the game is Slipways. These are basically how you connect the various planets and so forth. It's got a very board game like vibe. Uh, so if you play a lot of board games, this is going to remind you of that. So anyway, um, you can look through the tutorial yourself. This video series will be a little bit of a tutorial uh, as well. So, liking the... Oh, uh, by the way, there's a time limit. There's a 25-year time limit. And most actions in the game require some passage of time. So the smallest time increment is a month. For example, I'm going to hold down my mouse and drag my probe around to try to explore. You can see it'll cost a little bit of money, the 3C, that's credits. This is in the upper right corner here. Um, so pretty much any action you take will uh, need money. So something to watch out for. So let's see what we can explore. Um, the Signals that are highlighted are the ones you can actually hit with this probe. I want to see if I can get all five of these. Ooh, that's pretty good. Is there anything else I really want? Can I get all five of these? Not really. Okay, so getting these five is nice. We can get, can we get, we can get these four, and then hit up these three. So what else? We can, uh, we can hit up some stuff over here here as well um what if i were to try to get these but no that's not gonna work. okay let's stick to the original plan and you can see the signal is a little um there's a bubble so you want to let your mouse go at the right time ah and we found our first couple of planets let's see what we got we got an earth planet got an arid planet Forge world and this thing of four barrel runes. This is basically a goodie hut. So I don't know what we could do with a lot of this just yet. Let's uh, keep exploring. See if we can find some other good stuff. So let's just plan our moves out a little bit. I uh, can can hit. Can we hit these four? Yo, on the on challenging, it doesn't matter that much, but. I want to try to get a good score on this so i'm planning my moves out uh i'm tough i've noticed like like the game says every move matters uh so i'm not gonna try to even though my probe can kind of hit these plants they're far away and i can explore them later i just want to explore the maximum number of planets close together like you want to try to expand from what i can tell like to things that are close together. Uh, one other thing to note is that medium signals, like the strong signals have the highest chance to be a planet. The medium signals have a pretty decent chance. Uh, and then the small signals are, they could be asteroids, like these things you can break for money with the right text, you can exploit them and do other stuff. And sometimes you get these uh, goody huts. Goody huts are nice, always welcome. I can hit these three, but I don't think I, I can hit these four and then these four and then these that seems good so let's find out what these for hmm this is not promising at all yeah i spawn lava you can't do anything on these without the right text i don't like that let's uh see what th that's likely to be a planet right yeah but can i hit okay let's let's just see what these for are Oh, well, we have another planet. That's good. Um, hmm. This planet can only generate people. If you, um, by the way, if you hold down the alt symbol, you can, um, see the trade goods. I guess I'll explain all of the trading a little bit more. And I'll probably make tons of cut in this, uh, in th this type of let's play because a lot of the times you spend thinking like i would say 80 percent of the time you spend thinking and only 20 percent of the time you do stuff 
So, the, the problem is we're not getting very good luck in the initial exploration. Like, at this point, usually you can start coming up with a plan, but it's, uh, it's a little tricky here. You can make food. Like, this is the planet we can uh, get people around. Like, you want to start out with people. Robots. Uh, mm, this planet can make robots, but let's let's find out what these last bunch are before we decide what to do. Come on, I could have sworn I could hit all of them, or maybe I can hit those three. But no, I want to hit this one. I could have sworn there was some sort of a tile where we can hit. Oh. Do I see it? No, that's not good. I could hit these three and then... Let's hit these three. I think that's more important. Alright, a bunch more planets, desert. That's good. And then... Ooh, okay. I'm seeing some potential here. Food... Mm, robots. Alright, let's explore these last three. I know I spent a lot of time exploring. Usually I get things more set up by now, but now we have pretty perfect information. So I'm gonna pause and consider my next move. Alright, I thought about this uh, offline for quite a bit. I was trying to take advantage of like, plan my move so I can take advantage of one of my perks, the luxury perk, plans receiving goods earn 35% more income. I was trying to figure out if I could get both of these planets to somehow benefit from that, but uh, I really couldn't figure out how to get both planets. I could only figure out how to get one. So let's just get started here. Uh, you'll see all these different planets. If you click on one, you can decide what sort of colony to build. And what shows up on the left here, this uh, green symbol, which I believe is biomass and food, means this is what a planet needs. And on the right is what the planet will produce. And so if we select this arctic planet here, we can see that uh, it can take food and biomass to generate two people. If we look at, uh, let's say, this planet, uh, the swamp, we can see that if you send a person here, it can generate uh, two biomasses. And here, if you see, uh, we can send a person here, it generates a robot. Uh, and here on this jungle planet, if you send a robot here, it will generate biomass and um, water. Or you can pick any of the other options. In fact, this planet I'm going to make into wheat, right? You have robots and you can make food. So here is the plan. Um, Imagine I found a colony here, and then I start shipping off uh, people here to make robots. Then I can send the robots over here to make food that I can send back. Uh, now, on challenging difficulty, it is... Um, uh, I feel like money is generally not too big of a concern. You'll see that every action to found the colony here takes money so like for instance let's just go back to the arctic planet it takes eight credits and you lose one credit a year like there's maintenance costs on it some other planets like this earth-like planet it's a lot cheaper it's only five credits uh like five versus eight that's a huge difference like that's almost 50 percent like uh the numbers they seem so subtle but they matter a great deal. Look at this planet, this uh, swamp planet. It's eight credits to build, but it's minus two uh, credits a year. So this costs double the upkeep of this planet. Like these little things, are, and this scavenger planet, whew, look at that cost minus three. That's crazy expensive. Not that we have any choice. We have to build a planet here. So it's just worth noting that these costs matter. Um, the way resources are calculated is every single year. So right now there are seven months. If I were to found uh, like build these two colonies first, I'd pay extra upkeep. I don't want to do that. I want to try to build this one and this one uh, as fast as, uh, 
as fast. Well, actually, I can't um, can't do these two. Uh, I could, however, build this one. No, but you also want to get planets out of struggling as fast as possible. Basically, you want to meet their needs as fast as possible. Uh, what if I were to build these two? Uh, okay, I'm getting myself uh, slightly confused again. Hold on. Like, this, uh, this game is easy to learn, but hard to master, right? I know these are the four plants I want, but the order that you build them up actually matters a great deal. So the game slogan is kind of like no micromanaging. That's kind of true in a sense, but um, it depends on what you mean by micromanaging. I think this game has a lot of planning. Like you have to plan your turn super, super carefully. I mean, I've been recording for 15 minutes. I haven't even really made a single colonizing move yet. But I think I figured out what the best course of action is. Uh, and I love games that are simple to learn and hard to master. So, when you build colonies, the way you make money is you want to trade. You want to send the goods that are produced to a planet that needs them. So, and um, so, for instance, if I were to found this colony to build robots, I would immediately get the robots. Then this colony um, has uh, can access robots, so I can send the robot off for money. Uh, oh, you have to be level two. Ah, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out the quickest way to do a two-way trade, meaning I simultaneously uh, send two trade goods um, in one move. That would maximize my income. But now that I think about it, I'm not actually sure I can do it, which is unfortunate. All right, I couldn't figure out a way to do a double trade on the first year, uh, like a bilateral trade route, but that's fine. Let's just go ahead and get started. So now I'm just going to colonize the planets with the lowest upkeep first. So let's start with this Arctic planet here, Absol 6. So I'm going to make a colony to produce people. And you can preview uh, on the right, like level 1, level 2, level 3. That's like as you upgrade a planet, what sort of goods you need on the left and what sort of goods you'll produce on the right. This is going to be a population planet. So if you have one planet, you can't really do anything from it. Uh, you can see that these are the needs and there, these are the goods it's supplying. And there's a little bit of upkeep. Um, so let's now, my plan was always to, this planet is going to make our food and this planet is going to supply biomass. Over here. And uh, it can take robots. So we're going to, build this plant too and we're going to connect them like this as you can see it costs money to make that connection and when i did that um now i am trading between these two plants i am sending this biomass over here uh so these trade routes make a little bit of money for us um you know i never Oh, there's only two credits. That's interesting. I thought it'd be a little more than that. Usually it's like six or something. I haven't quite understood and figured out the full details of the um, of the trading, but th this is the basics of what you want to do. And you'll see these plants have a little red flag on them. That means their planets are struggling. Their basic needs are not being met, which is really bad. You need to get your plants out of struggling and get the basic needs, uh, needs met as soon as possible. Uh, but let's also check out the tasks. These are your quests. So what are our options here? Um, and so establish new trade routes for six different resources. Well, we're going to be doing that a lot for sure. We're going to be trading a lot. Increase total production of microchips by three. I might do that. Invent one new technology. That might take a little bit of time because we would need to build a lab. We wouldn't be able to get that done for a while microchips though probably want to produce sooner rather than later um there are planets that could take advantage of microchips like this planet so i'm thinking we probably want to make microchips i don't know when we're going to invent technologies so let's do these two tasks completing task um 
will upgrade your relations with these um, races. Gives you more bonuses, like the first tier unlocks uh, options in events, which from what I can tell is basically every time you reach out to one of these uh, goody huts. Uh, and then later on you can get like extra money or extra research, uh, cheaper techs. Plus they give you this uh, plus six or plus five legacy points, that's how the game scores you. So you, uh, so at the very least you can do it for the score. So we're going to do those two quests and let's finish our plan. Now I'm going to build this planet that makes robots. Uh, and because resources calculate at the end of the year, there is no rush here. I can connect these two planets. Now I'm sending a person here to make robots. Uh, and now I can connect a planet like this. Our income is shot up dramatically. Um, this planet is still struggling though. So the reason why our income shot up dramatically is as I supplied a robot here, this planet now um, can supply the water back. That's the two-way trade route I was trying to talk about. And you can see um, this is represented uh, right here in this part of the left-hand side of the screen. This explains the two-way trade route. And if you look very carefully, I love the art in this game. It's just like perfect. The cargo ships are going both directions, right? So now let's make some wheat. Let's connect it to our uh, colony, colony here. Now we're producing uh, food. And we're going to connect these two. And we have our first successful plan. And we're making money now. Beautiful work, everyone. None of the planets are struggling. We have a little problem with some extra people that um, have no jobs. But we'll figure that out. Uh, we'll figure that out in a little bit. And we're getting uh, our quest done. So, uh, I would say this is a very successful early um, part game. We want to try to figure out how to deliver goods to this planet, though. Yeah, the unemployment's unfortunate, but um, we can build labs and stuff. We can figure out what to do with that unemployment. We could, in fact, even supply... Um, what's the cost here? 17 Oh, that's kind of expensive. Like, we could colonize this and then build a trade route between these two planets. It would actually make a decent amount of money. But to really take advantage of our um, perk, we want to do that luxury. Plants uh, receiving uh, goods earn 35% more. Oh, wow, this planet's not really producing much money right now. It's just delivering one export. So that's why it's not making much money. Uh, this planet's doing very well. It's exporting two. Making ten. Huh. But this planet, oh, the upkeep cost is a lot higher. That's why it's exporting two. I don't know why the earlier export. I guess your planet has to be out of struggling to maximize their export value. Because every single export, I guess, on a non-struggling planet is five. That makes sense to me. Upkeep costs uh, are not great right now. And our money is a little tight. So now I'm going to... Hmm, we want to be able to get this planet doing stuff for us as soon as possible. Two-way trade route kind of makes sense here. Make water biomass but we can export the biomass and i'm not sure what would happen to the water but uh we just like at this point in the game we just need more money mostly but we're also in no member so we don't have to establish the colony now we can we can figure it out it's also very expensive to connect it's 17 that's a lot we could connect to the goody hut that's not necessarily a bad idea but it's a lot of money to connect to that goody hut um, especially when we don't have a lot of options. I'm not sure we do that just yet. Let's see if, if we build this colony, the asteroid we can exploit for, it's plus six yield for every nearby colonized planet. So basically it pays for itself. And that's a pretty big deal at this stage of the game. I'm liking the plan to build a colony 
here just for the money right we would get a, a 10 money plus it kind of pays for itself the main thing we're paying for is this connection uh, but we need to get this plan and export it so we can hook up goods this is what i really want like i want to produce goods here and i want to ship it off to my main planet let us explore down here let's see yeah, let's explore these three. Let's see what we see. Okay, this planet... Ah, uh, but it doesn't connect. I'm trying to see if there's a way to supply either robots or minerals here. This planet... Hmm... I wonder if I mess something up. Well, let's explore these five. That seems like a good call. Now we're in the new year. Alright, lots of options. Ooh, we can make more people here. But there's no way to get um, minerals, unfortunately. Well, no, these two plants connect. Make minerals here. That's very interesting. Ooh, I think I'm starting to see a plan here. Uh, one moment. Okay, this plan is a lot easier to see. This ocean planet, as you can see, generates people, uh, two people, and it takes food and minerals. Whereas this remnant planet here can produce minerals, right? Uh, with people. So this is a two-way trade. We have food here that we can send off to this planet. And then, so we'll meet the needs. This planet will have its needs, uh, need, needs met plus we can ship some minerals off to this planet to produce goods which we can then um, ship off and uh, because of our special bonus we'll earn a lot more money so that seems like a really good plan let's get to it beautiful making more money too um yeah we definitely want to take advantage of our special ability as fast as possible but we have four months if i were to build the goods factory right now um what's the it's two so neck that would just earn me five credits so ooh, our empire is also hmm. let's see what else we got here we, we should definitely fit in one more build to maximize our income but the question is do i build this planet right away or do i Hook this planet up. Um, we have administrative costs to consider as your empire expands. All the plans will take a little more upkeep. Uh, the question is, do I even want to hit my administrative uh, cost? I mean, I'm going to hit it. Uh, uh, so the decision point, like, we're definitely making this plan into goods and we're going to supply these two plans. Like, that's not even a question here. Um, to maximize our income, though, we have to start shipping these people off. Um, we could also do stuff like build labs. But we would need something to research. Don't really have any good candidates right now. We should also start thinking about building labs. Hmm. Let me pause the thing. All right, so given our sort of tough economic start, I feel like at this point we just need more money and we just need more income. This planet has to be made into goods to supply both of these planets. Like, that's not even a choice. Uh, and this to get the most out of our perk, I need to be able to send this person off to do something. Uh, this is the only planet where I can do that. Plus, it, it has a two-way trade, so it makes extra money. And there's an asteroid there to exploit. So, like, this has to be the right... Oh, I don't have the money for it. Hmm. Right, I should have uh, taken that into account. Building this would have definitely been better. I can... Uh, I was hoping to be able to get that two-way trade income, like, right now. But 
We can at least destroy the asteroid for some money. Or I can just found the next planet. Uh, yeah, that, that's probably the way to go. Uh, because the game will tick over to the next turn and then I can connect everything up. Um, you could, in theory, press U to undo. You can undo pretty much every move. So if I were doing this right, I should be like connecting this. Uh, well, I guess I can't afford that either. So, But I'm not going to use the undo to like... Um, sort of undo like poor moves i'm gonna use it to undo like legitimate mistakes i misclick quite a lot so if it's a misclick i'll of course undo it uh so this is why i mean money is tight let's just uh destroy this asteroid uh for a little bit of money make this two-way trade complete our task we still have to make microchips but before we do any of that let's do the this 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 and this now we are making money 55 uh we don't have any more cash to do right uh right now you'll see we have the administrative cost minus eight uh but uh that's because our empire is growing so as the number of planets you have expands you're going to uh eat up more costs uh like the empire is just going to be more expensive to maintain so you uh, especially on tough, it's very, very noticeable, and you have to keep a very close eye on your income. But now um, we have two successful planets. We're taking advantage of our luxury perk. Um, this planet here, if we can get the two people working somehow later on in the game, we'll make so much more money. We're getting plus 35%. So, some like, not sure what we're gonna do with these people, but we'll figure it out. Uh, and this planet also has two people, so we gotta export these people off to do something uh, to make some money. But yeah, this is a nice little empire we got going here. Uh, we may have to pass, or we might just spend the rest of the time exploring. We have five more months. We're just unfortunately out of cash right now uh, due to the tough economic start. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Until next time.